Today I'm celebrating the news that the EU withdrawal bill has received royal assent. Now this means we've finally embarked on the first step to achieving the Brexit that 17.4 million Britons voted for on June 23rd, 2016. It's taken over two years just to get to this point, thanks to the constant meddling of the political establishment and Theresa May's shambolic shilly-shallying. It's now up to UKIP to unite and make the final push for an independent Britain something I've campaigned for since I joined the Anti-Common Market League way back in 1967. UKIP is at last going forward again under Gerard Batten, and I'm excited to learn that a number of big-name social influencers have joined the party. I'd like to welcome Paul Joseph Watson, Sargon of Akkad, Count Dankula, and Milo Yiannopoulos to our party. Now, if you're not a social media animal, some of these names may seem a bit strange, but they're all true crusaders for freedom of expression, and I'm delighted they realise that UKIP is the only party committed to this principle. I look forward to them developing truly dank memes that will trigger lefty lovies like Gary Lineker, James O'Brien, and the rest of their politically correct establishment chums. The future is looking bright for UKIP under Gerard Batten, and a strong UKIP means a strong Brexit. Onwards, upwards, and out! Hello, yes, the end of UKIP, that's right, in fact, they're going in for the kill quicker than I even thought, quicker than you can say Nick Lowell's hope not hate, Jerry Gable's Circular Magazine, you've just watched a short video where Neil Hamilton, remember him and his wife, always getting up to bizarre antics and shenanigans, remember, didn't Nigel Farage pass reservations regarding allowing him into UKIP. I'm sure he did. Well, he were well-founded. But anyway, Neil Hamilton talks about new members that have now joined UKIP. Social media giants in the form of Paul Joseph Watson, another one that pushes the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, another nonsense. Uh, Sargon of ACAD, something out of Lord of the Rings. Count Dankula, he's the weirdo of the flesh tunnels. He's an obscene-looking character. That taught his pug to see Carl and put it on YouTube. I'm sure he'll go down with the voters. Sexual deviants, Milo Yiannopoulos. Christ, you couldn't make this up. Once again, I'll say it, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you want to believe Mr. Farage, this is all an accident. It's just bad choices by Jared Batten. Like before him, it was a, a toxic love affair. Henry Bolton. If you want to believe it's all an accident, then be my guest. They are finishing UKIP off as I make this video. Because they know they have to finish UKIP off. Because UKIP could have swept up the rebellion, the anger, the 17.4 million and turned it into a purple revolution. The one you'd started, Mr. Farage. You left UKIP too soon, didn't you? Right, and look now what's happened. All these spies have been sitting there waiting for their time, waiting for their opportunity to bring UKIP down. And now they've brought on board a plethora of weirdos, state spies, freaks, deviants. Christ, you couldn't make this up. But it's the end of UKIP, like I predicted. But I hope you learn a lesson from all this, Mr Farage, and be ready for when the betrayal comes which we know is coming. You've got to be ready to rally our people. Start a new party because you've got to vote the fuckers out. It's no good having street demonstrations. They're not going to stop or change anything. You've got to vote the fuckers out. But again, once again, I've been proven right. All the spies gravitate together, don't they? How come I keep getting this right? It's very sad that I do. Well, it's not in a way. It's, it's good to do because we can at least learn from it. What I should have said is that I wish I wasn't true. I wish I was wrong, but I'm not wrong. I'm right. And what a sad, a sad spectacle now. Milo Yiannopoulos, Count Dankula. What an obscene looking character with his flesh tunnels. Sargon of Akkad, out of Lord of the Rings. and Oh, sexual deviants and state spies and all the rest of them. It is really, really shocking that it's been allowed to come to this. And you're to blame, Nigel Farage, without a doubt. But let's hope you learn an awful lot as to what has happened. And make sure it doesn't happen again, because we're going to be betrayed. And Theresa May, Vincent Price, she knows only too well 
where the rebellion was going to go to. It was going to go to UKIP and the Purple Revolution could have continued, right? So she had to bring down UKIP first. You foolishly put faith in the Tories and the uh, liberal, leftist, whatever, globalist uh, establishment, elite, whatever you want to call them. You believe they had to honour the vote of 17.4 million people. No. The treacherous swines. We know who they are from Edward Heath, writer Theresa May, Vincent Price. So you have to get back on board now, Mr. Farage, and be ready for the betrayal. You've got to be ready to organise our people, but it's got to be done politically. It's no good having marches. But again, Joe Owens has been pro-rights once again. What can I say? Okay, thank you.